Hey, what's up miners? Today I'm here to talk to you about PCI Express splitters. Um, as you can see, I have two going on here. One's a one into one to four, and the other one's a one to two. Um, and the middle one is just a single one. Um, they work as intended um, to a certain extent. And I'm going to explain a little bit about that um, during this video. Um, but right now I'm going to show you that they are working. Uh, I've had them on for a couple weeks. I've had a couple crashes, but I don't know if it's pertaining to these splitters. Um, I had made some adjustments to the system, uh, to the bat file, using different miners. Um, and um, I didn't make any changes to the splitters themselves and um, and, this, and the system and all uh, this entire rig is up and running you know it's been two weeks straight uh, doing Zcash and I was using the EWBF miner but then I switched over to the DSTM miner um, and I, I did find I was getting better uh, hash rate or more souls um, so I'm going to show you the rest of the rig um, those are the splitters, obviously. Um, I've got seven cards, but only five hooked up. And that's part of the reason why I want to explain to you about these cards. And looking up here on the monitor, as you can see, it is hashing away. There, all five GPUs out of the seven. And we're doing 700 watts, 780 watts at the wall. So, um, a little explanation why uh, it's limited and the reliable to a certain extent. Uh, for one, uh, based on what what you have as a main board. Now this one is an older main board. It's an Asus P5N um, and it's an NVIDIA chipset. There is a gentleman by the name of Rico123. He did a video um, about his PCI Express experience um, and he mentioned that you know it was working fine for a couple months then you know the system went down once a week, the system went down you know three times a week and then it started you know going down every day and so he had to do something about it um, he moved things around changed different ports and he had I think four 1070 TI's and um, at the end he just changes the, his motherboard and uh, it's been uh, running stable for him uh, so he uh, he condemned the card uh, or the splitter rather and um, he said the same thing. It, it it could work for you. You just you just have to try it. He he had an Intel chipset. I think that's that was a problem. Um, usually, if you run a, like an HP type computer or Dell type computer, they they do use Intel boards with an Intel chipset. This is an Asus, and it uses an Nvidia chipset. Um, this is an LGA775 socket, so it is an old board, but it is. It was a great board in its time. It's a great processor, uh, all-round reliable setup, and that was one of the main reasons I stuck with this board. However, it is limited, and the reason why it's limited is because of the technology at the time. Um, it just can't keep up with the faster cards. Now these. PCI Express splitters, they will perform better on the newer card, uh, newer motherboard. So, like say 1366 or 1151, 1155 type sockets. Um, and there's a reason for that, and that reason is how the chipset, the Southbridge and the Northbridge chipset, um, overall design of the board, how it addresses. The instructions and um, the bandwidth going to the PCI lanes, um, 
how it manages the PCIe lanes uh, makes a huge difference because basically this area or, or the PCI lanes, PCI lanes becomes a bottleneck for all these GPUs. Now once you start putting four into one or three into one, um, it's just it, it just the board can't keep up with it, and that's when it starts to crash and your miner starts to crash. And um, and I'm gonna get to why I only have five cards hooked up out of seven because when I hook up the other two onto here, actually I can't even get to. I can get try to get six, and it reads in Windows. It'll it'll read the six cards and seven cards. But as soon as I load um, a miner, uh, like Claymore miner, EWF miner, um, the entire system freezes and it crashes. It just it just can't handle it. Um, but five five is the lucky number that runs stable and and um, it works this way. And I'm not going to screw around with it. Um, one of the major setbacks when using these PCI Express splitters on an older board like this is um, that I have a lot of trouble overclocking these cards now people are getting you know four to five hundred extra megahertz um, on these cards these are all 1060 6 gig cards uh, very reliable cards great cards to mine with and um, I, I can't get more than 80 megahertz um, it's just it, the the cards are working a lot faster than the motherboard can take is my only theory I have and once you're putting you know four fast cards onto this splitter here onto one port it's just um, it's just it's just a huge bottleneck and it's just overkill for the board and can't do it so um, overclocking is pretty much out of the question uh, secondly I have to set the power limit on these cards uh, pretty much to the max which is 115 um, so some of these cards I have them at 113 1 114 um, but yeah your power limit you, you need to uh, increase the power limit in order for your rig to stay stable um, or else your minor crashes like it's just it's just very uh, very temperamental, I guess the word is, uh, when using these PCI Express slots. So, if I'm going to give you some tips, it'd be set your power limit high, um, keep them at stock settings, and um, don't go more than uh, two cards per uh, two graphics cards per one splitter. And um, if you do. Uh, want to put more cards onto the one splitter then uh, I would say you would need a later model board motherboard that can handle it these PCI Express splitters work best on newer boards and they only work or they limited on how well they work on older boards and uh, it's it's a hit or miss on the older ones. The newer ones, I, I think, is pretty reliable or more reliable than this setup. Um, uh, but uh, if you're if you're mixing old with new, you're always going to get a bo uh, a bottleneck in in the PCIe lanes here. And um, I think that's why people are kind of deterred um, from these PCI Express splitters. And not to mention, the only reason why you need a PCI Express is PCI Express splitter is because you probably got an older board like this and at the time you didn't really need all these uh, all these slots right um, like this is like a first gen SLI type board and actually has uh, the, the card in the middle middle there where you, you switch it around if you want to use SLI you switch it the other way if, if you don't um, it doesn't have an auto sensing type capability here I will uh, put this uh, video to a, to a close and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you learned something here. Um, I, I, I have another motherboard CPU RAM type combo coming in so I can utilize all these seven GPUs um, and uh, start hashing away. But uh, with this board here, I just can't do that.
and even with these splitters. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you learned something. And uh, like, subscribe, and pay it forward. Uh, thanks.